Hi, Sunny. So, um, hey. uh, you have a premiere coming up. Great. Yes. A series about a series, episode three, transitioning, will premiere April 19th on YouTube. So I'm excited for it. Yeah, that's just a couple days away. Oh, yeah, yeah. The countdown is on. So every day, the top board in the house, seven days to premiere, six days, five days, four, three. So I'm pumped. I'm trying to do other things to not be waiting so much for it. It's hard not to be excited for it, you know, a long time. We've been working on this a long time. Even the first things we filmed together was, was a while ago, and so now it's just all ready to come out, ready for the world to see, and then move on to the next one. Yeah, because um, uh, I remember just being a part of it, and then just seeing how like it started just from the beginning, and I remember even talking to you about like the script before even like auditions mm -hmm. happened. Um, do you have any words of an advice for an aspiring writer? Yep, yeah, yeah, keep going forward with it. Chase, you know, when you see a vision in your head, chase it. Don't keep saying like, oh, I got to do what, what's popular, this or that. If you think you looking to be popular, I mean, cool, but don't keep trying to change it. You know, just do what, what you want, what your heart desires, that story that's in your mind, keep chasing that. And at and, and the end of the day, if you do what you want, you're going to be happy with it. And too like you know actually things will always change and people will always complain so don't worry about it. is everybody gonna like it because there's pretty much always gonna be somebody who doesn't you know you might as well make what you want to make what you're gonna like so then at the end of the day you're happy and when you revisit it you're you know you have a smile on your face you're like yeah i made this this is what i did keep going forward keep keep making what you want to make yeah that's a good because point it's, it's working it really is because I feel like sometimes people will let like one comment get in the way or one critique get in the way of their dreams. So that's something that's really important just to remember that there's always going to be someone out there who's not going to like your work or even they might like your work, but they might see you as competition or. Yeah, you can see sometimes, like I say, how I. We go to Codex Podcast with the Codex State, and we do all the comic books related, right? As you can see, I got a bunch of comic books. So when we sometimes we review comics, we review episodes of TV shows like X Men and Seven, and sometimes we'll come across these stories and we'll review them. And sometimes we're not such a big fan of the story, but we're a big fan. Like we know we're big fans of the artists, of the writers, but sometimes we come across a story that just isn't our favorite. It doesn't mean we hate everything they've ever done. It just means maybe that story wasn't for us. You know, the one thing we always keep in mind is, you know, art is subjective. You don't think it's their opinion. Somebody may like this story, you know, this is a, it's a beautiful story. So, yeah, so it was boring. So, you know what happened? Just opinion. Oh, yeah. Definitely. And everyone, I feel like, has a different, like, take on everything. Oh, well, yeah. Um, and um, with this question, um, without any spoilers, what are you looking the most forward to with the premiere? So this is uh, the longest episode. You know, there's quite a few scenes, you know, and I know the scene really well. I mean, I wrote it, I edited it, you know, we filmed it, uh, editing was going over and over and over. But there is a scene with Buck and Dorothy and where they're testing the camera. It doesn't give too much away, but when I filmed it with you, there was a lot of, okay, pretend you're seeing this. Imagine you're seeing this. And now let's go to seeing how it all works. For you, for you and everyone to see how it all came out to say, oh, wow, like, you wouldn't have even known that it was just kind of picture the life change, picture this. And especially the last scene, the last scene in episode three, I don't want to give too much away, but it is it's one of the most scenes I'm proud to have written, even uh, in the book, in the book wise, people who have read it have said, oh, this, this scene means so much to me, this scene, so I need Proud of you for writing there, for having it in you to make it, and someone even said they cried. So to make it in film, to film it, to edit it, to get it out there, I'm like, I know this scene is powerful, and I really hope that it, it has an impact on people like the, the book version had. So I'm really looking forward to that big ending scene. But you gotta watch the whole episode because it makes the whole thing that much more special and that much you know, bigger of a scene for the whole. Not just the episode, but it's huge for the whole entire story of a series about the series. 
for the last scene. It's the most one I'm excited to see. Yes, and for people who um, are just learning about your series, would they find you on um, YouTube, um, Amazon? Uh, what's the best platform for someone to find a series about a series on? The best way is on YouTube just to type in a series about a series, but you got to have the A. If you, for some reason, if you miss the A, it will lead you to something else. But if you type in a series about a series on YouTube, it will lead you to it. But then also, you know, you can find me on other social media, other uh, socials. You know, I'm on Instagram, through Sunny, I'm on Wattpad, I'm on TikTok. Usually, don't know the writer is an easy way to find me. But then also, I'm on Google. Even through like Google and Yahoo, you can just type in Sunny Kruger and it will lead you to me and it will lead you to the series. Series about a series. And um, thank you so much for sharing all that info. Do you have any more writing projects in the works? More in the works. Right now, I am reading, editing, and releasing a book series of mine. It is called The Good Priest. And I just released chapter 11, Having Faith, part one. And then there's only one more chapter to go. So that is on Wattpad. It is called The Good Priest. And it is about priests. But he's more of a modern day priest and dealing with more of the things and questions that people ask nowadays. And also dealing with meeting people. Like, you know, also he meets a woman, but he's torn between his faith and being uh, a priest so he's not supposed to be with anyone but then he's also starting to feel things in his heart so the good priest is the story that i'm releasing now and then there'll be plenty more things to write in the future i'm always having I'm always writing a note what kind of stories so i'm always writing something even in the summer i plan to release a short story called 1900 detective which I did, it's already written, but I don't want to release all my stories at the same time. So after The Good Priest, a little bit, a little bit more time go by, do some filming of a series about a series, and over the summer, summer and the summer, I plan to release 1900 to come here. It was fun to do a lot of research because I was learning about the 1900s, but also, well, because it takes place in 1900, learning about things in the late 1800s, so, you know, so a lot of wars, uh, rules, laws, things like that, so. Always, always a new story to write. Yes. Do you ever have ideas that just pop into your head randomly while you're working or out and you know out and about? About every single day. Every day, there's always a story here. A lot of times, I say my mind is like a room with a bunch of TVs, and sometimes one thing, like I say, when I'm writing, it's like one show was on. But sometimes I'm thinking of this and I'm seeing this. And maybe I hear a song here, maybe I'm like listening to music, and then suddenly I'll see a singing. Hmm, that would be pretty good. And then either if I'm at home, I could write in my notebook, or if I'm out in public, like I just say somewhere, and who knows, maybe I see something, a, a painting, I hear somebody's voice or something, then just pull out the phone, write a quick little note. So all the time, notes and ideas come to mind. Oh. That's awesome because I know I get like that sometimes too, where it's like you just have to write it down or else you're going to forget. Yeah, yeah, I'm like it needs to be written now because something will come up and make you forget it. So, yeah, it's an bit of advice. If you come up with an idea, everybody, write those notes. Do not put it off. Yes, because those ideas could be something beautiful, just like your series or all of your work. Yeah. Well, thank you. And yeah, you never know. Sometimes. It could be, you think, yeah, this is a little idea, and sometimes it does lead to something bigger. It could lead to a whole story. Or every, every now and then, if you had a, a little bit of an idea for one story, and I've had this whole story, and I'm like, you know what? I'm trying to mix it. I can put this in there. I can make this character kind of deal with this storyline. So, yeah, write them all down. Hey, sometimes you won't use them. Okay. And then sometimes, like I said, sometimes an idea will surprise you. And, I've had characters where I thought that they'll be in the story a little bit, maybe they're in one or two chapters, and suddenly they're in the whole thing, and I'm writing spin-offs for that whole character. And wow, making this this little character, I thought I don't fit them in there. And look at that, they become huge. So write down all those notes and ideas. Um, are your characters ever inspired by real people, or are they mainly ideas? I guess you could say a bit of both. I mean, sometimes just imagination, but then sometimes how 
write a story and suddenly I will see a little bit of, oh, that's a little bit of me, that's a little bit of them. And then sometimes maybe there's a mixture of people kind of, people in this situation, okay, a lot of people have said this, there are a lot of, like I say, for a series about a series, right? They deal with a lot of actors and actresses. And they'd be like, okay, a lot of actors say this, a lot of actresses have dealt with this. So sometimes it's things like that. And then with the stories, when it comes to like, you know, the book of crime, I can just, if you're ever looking for inspiration for a dark crime story, just watch the Chicago news for about a week and they will throw many, many ideas your way. And you'll say, okay, I've had enough, I've had enough. Yeah, so I guess to answer your question, if anyone's inspired in ways, no one like in particular, like, oh, this would be some so and so, but some parts of people. Like me and Buck, who I play in a series of series, we, we have a bit in common, but I mean, we have quite a bit. You know, we're both writers, we're both filmmaking, but then there are ways that we are very different too. So, you know, a little bit here and there. A little bit here and there. And, um, also, I heard you're doing a lot more acting lately. Do you have anything coming up? Yeah, so obviously more episodes of a series about a series that will be, you know, in those. And then also there is a mini series or an anthology series called Movement. Where I'm going to be in episode two of season two. And it's over the summer called Constitutional Delegation. But I'm actually sure there's no premiere date on that. But yeah, so I have lucky in that. I'm looking to yeah, get more acting gigs and of course there's what there's in my work I'm always going to want to work on those but I do want to work on others as well where I take the part just as the actor where I'm not writing and editing and directing where it's like okay I'm here as an actor direct me what to do and give me the script and I will learn the part and I will I will act the part so yeah so looking to do more acting and getting out there Testing the waters and playing different roles. I want to play parts that are different from me. Play okay, a character like this and a com character who's completely different. You know, it's, it's fun. You know, you you've been acting a lot longer than I have, and you've been in many roles. So you know the joy of being able to play all these different characters to turn into these different people and bring them to life. Yeah, definitely. And do you have a dream role? No, a dream role. Usually, I'd say my stuff is stuff I write, but if I had a green role, I'd say something along the lines of something with like superheroes or super villains. You know, I'm a huge comic book fan, so it'd be awesome to play a superhero and or super villain one day. Hopefully, it'd be cool to play an X Men, but pretty much I'm fine with anybody, whether it's from the X Men, the Justice League, the Avengers. Even the unknown characters, I know many, so a superhero or supervillain would be be a very cool thing, cool role to play. Yeah, because that's a good answer. Oh, yeah, any dream roles you have? Oh, for me, a dream role for me? Hmm. I feel like definitely I'd want something continuing. Like, I would love to be in a sitcom, like a comedic sitcom, where I would, like, grow with the cast, and it would be something that's consistent. I feel like that's probably my dream role like definitely a sitcom it would be fun and like you said Dave would be staying with the character for a long time so good luck to you with it yes and um this question I know you uh, would rather now branch out into like where you would uh, have others create but would you ever be open to creating with others like maybe co-writing co-directing Usually, like I'm someone who's very into my own, my own, but I would be open to it. I like challenges. I like the challenge of being able to write with someone else. And and there, there was a poet I wrote uh, along with someone. Her name is Sarah Cross. She's also one of the actresses in a series about a series. And we wrote a pilot together called 1990 something. And it was interesting. It was interesting to write with someone else, not someone who's me, 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 but okay, we're working together. And it was very interesting. And I, I enjoyed it and I would be willing to work with others to like say co direct and co write with others. But I, I like a good challenge. And two, one thing I always think is good is to also always be willing to learn, not just think, I got this, I'm done. To always be willing to learn. You never know who can teach you something really valuable. It could be somebody who's been around for 20, 30 years 
it could be somebody new who has this great new idea. So it's always good to listen. And I'm always willing to learn. And like I said, I love challenging. Definitely. And um, if someone would like to get in contact with you for like a possible role, um, would they use the same info that you provided earlier? Or do you have another email that they could email? I think it's the same thing as earlier. You can find me on Instagram at Kruger Sunny or even to always Sunny Kruger should usually lead you to me. And even to um, Sunny Kruger on Facebook. You know, feel free to try to find me like Kazir or on Instagram. You just feel free to send me a message. And you know, I see, check my messages. I get around to them. And we can see what's going on. I can give you details on, hey, there's this role open. Or, hey, right now, maybe we're not uh, looking to cast. But Eventually in the future, I'm always looking to work on something. So to keep in touch, yeah, there will always be, I won't be done working on my projects. I will always be working on a new project, one after another after another. So don't give up. Even if you didn't get a part in one thing, there's always a chance for another one. So you feel free to get in touch. Awesome. Thank you so much for providing that info for people in case they want to reach out. And thank you so Perfect. much for coming on today. Well, thank you for having me. It's always fun doing this show with you. And, you know, the countdown is on April 19th. So three of a series of other series. It's going to be on YouTube. And make sure to check it, check it out. Check the two of us out and see us at Buck and Dorothy on a series about a series. And I look forward to in the future filming with you more and, you know, possibly doing more interviews with you. So thank you again for having me. Of course. It was awesome having you again. Have a good one. Thank you.